Hello and welcome to yet another Equity for Capes video. We just want to quickly uh, update you on uh, some um, updates on uh, CVS Health. And uh, this piece, obviously, as you, as you can see, it was written on um, Shafa Investment Research. And some of the key things they noted there was that uh, the shares of CVS are struggling to recover from the beer gap they suffered late last week with pressure at the 66 dollar region thwarting several uh, attempts so this is that gap here there's that gap uh, but then it uh, um, it probably ended at uh, by uh, on the 11th of june as you can see from uh, the dates below here so um he went on to say um, okay, that this pullback has brought CVS within a historical bullish trend line indicating the stock could be due for a short term surge. So what could be the historical uh, short term, uh, okay, yeah, it could be this uh, 50 day. Well, it is it is lying between as at then it is still lying be between uh, the 50 day and the 20 day uh, moving averages trend lines and as well as uh, the uh, time series forecast trend line so uh, and then they are also indicating that there's a lot of uh, beer sorry a lot of bullish uh, sorry a lot of call activity calls haven't been more popular in the past 12 months at the uh, ISE and the various other exchanges CVS spots a 50 day put call volume ratio of 3.89 which sits high which sits higher than all other really other all, all other region readings from the last year okay and then uh, some what else did I mention here so yes some of the bullish behavior could be short sellers hedging against any upside risk so um, they are probably buying um, calls to hedge any um, or any upside risk. Yes. Okay. So uh, that could be the reason why. But so okay. Okay. We're this. We're looking at the chart. We're not looking at the uh, options um, um, figures. So uh, yes. Mm, okay. I guess uh, by the time this occurred. Um, they were frightened and probably increased their uh, hedgings on the call side of things. Um, all right, okay. Um, we we include this the link to that uh, for you to read up. And um, uh, let's see over here what is going on on chart mail concerning uh, CVS. This okay. This is a fundamental analysis. And it says here, overall CVS gets a fundamental rating of 5 out of 10. We evaluated CVS against 7 industry peers in the drug stores and pro proprietary stores industry. While CVS has a great profitability rating, there are some minor concerns on its financial health. CVS has a correct valuation and a medium growth uh, rate. So it is uh, from this chart, it is uh, more of a valuation stock than uh, all the other um, parameters so it says here assets uh, return on assets is 30.1 percent is among the best of the industry CVS uh, uh, does better than the industry average return of 0.82 percent CVS's profit margin of 2.76 percent is among the best returns of the industry, CVS outperforms 83% of its industry peers. Industry average is uh, the industry average profit budget is 0 0.62. So uh, we're going to include uh, all of this for you to read up. Um, we can't uh, really say anything in this regard concerning CVS, but. Um, as uh, the experts at uh, Shaver Investment Research are indicating, um, this um, um, beer gap that has occurred here might have uh, caused people to, or market participants, to um, increase their and increase increase their um, call holdings to ensure there's a hedge 
against uh, any upside. Thank you very much for watching this video and please uh, don't fail to subscribe to our channel.